Аунзу Биллахи Минна Шайтан и Раджим. Бисмиллахи Рахман и Рахим. Калайн Мухайн Дарабби Фикитаб. Лая Дилну Рабби Валайян Са. Аллади Джала Лакумул Арда Махдау Васалака Лакум Фиха Субула. وسلك لكم فيها سبلا وأنزل من السماء ماء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرجنا به أزواجا فأخرجنا به أزواجا من نبات شتى كلوا ورعوا أنعامكم إن في ذلك لآيات لأول النهى منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم ومنها نخرجكم ومنها نخرجكم تارة أخرى ولقد أريناه آياتنا كلها فكذب وأبى صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Taha, beginning from the ayah number 53 till the ayah number 56. Musa alayhi salam says in the ayah number 53, الذي جعل لكم الأرض مهدا دوان who made the earth for you it's important to note here that Allah said لكم actually Allah informs about Musa السلام, that he said to Fir'aun when he was speaking to him الذي, and describing the Almighty the Creator the true Lord Allah Musa said الذي, the one جعل لكم الأرض مهدا who made for you لكم so Allah did create the earth but for us جعل لكم no other objection no other objective no other aim for Allah سبحانه وتعالى in creating the earth he just created the earth for the people for the him being الذي جعل لكم الأرض and it is not the earth itself but the heavens also Allah says وَسَخَّرَ لَكُمْ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ and he has created the earth and the heavens and whatever between them so the heavens and the earth created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the human being so we can understand that the human being has a capacity, a, a faculty, an ability to appreciate the earth itself, this favor of Allah and to understand the creation of Allah in the heavens if Allah created them for us then he had created us suitable for the earth and for the heavens to realize them to understand them to use their benefit and whatsoever الذي جعل لكم الأرض مهدا the one who created the earth for you as a cradle مهدا placed of rest and living then Musa السلام, said وَسَلَكَ لَكُمْ فِيهَا سُبْلًا and he opened for you therein in the earth سُبْلًا ways roads in order to travel to move from one place to another وَسَلَكَ لَكُمْ فِيهَا سُبْلًا so Allah did not create us to stay at the same place on the surface of this planet but he wants us to move, to travel, to see another place, to see the earth and whatsoever there. 
وَسَلَكَ لَكُمْ فِيهَا سُبُلًا And He encouraged us to do that, to do so. Because Allah says, as we said in the previous lecture, that if you travel in the land, then you will be able to understand more. You will increase your understanding. أَوَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَتَكُونَ لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا Why not? Why do not they travel in the land? If they travel, so then they will have قُلُوبٌ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا Heart which reason, which reasons قُلُوبٌ يَعْقِلُونَ بِهَا أو آذان يسمعون بها أن ears which hear فإنها لا أو أو فتكون لهم قلوب يعقلون بها أو آذان يسمعون بها فإنها لا تعمل أبصار ولكن تعمل قلوب التي في الصدور الله says it's not the eyes that blind but the hearts blind so if you stay at the same place then after a while your heart will blind you will not be able to understand and realize the difference at the same place at the same with the same people among the same society you will lose your ability to see the difference you will accept everything as truth in that place so Allah encouraged you to travel in the land. As a matter in fact, He created the earth suitable and He prepared the surface of this planet for you in order to travel. وَسَلَكَ لَكُمْ فِيهَا سُبُلًا Subul means ways. وَالَّذِينَ جَاهَدُوا فِينَا لَنَهْدِيَنَّهُمْ سُبُلَنَا Those who strive for us in order to understand the truth to reach the truth those who strive for the truth Allah says for us indeed certainly we shall guide them to our subulana ways the same word at that ayah so Allah opened many ways on this planet in the land وَسَلَكَ لَكُمْ فِيهَا سُبُلًا and Musa is the one who turns this who turns these favors these blessings into a question who made the, these for you I'm talking about him I mean, I'm talking about the one who created this beautiful planet and opened these ways on this planet for you if you reason you will quickly understand it's inevitable that the created made them for you you just reason you just use your mind and see the reality and else what else Musa salam said wa anzala mina samai ma'a and he is the one who sent down water from the sky he is the one who sends down water from the sky the rain so if you see if you see this rain and if you understand how it is beautiful for your life how it is uh, very important in your life and how its nature it's appropriate for your health and for the land for the earth you will understand that you will ask the same question why everything is serving me here why everything is serving me here why Allah sending water other than anything else he may send many harmful things instead of the water from the sky why he sends the water exactly 
man and the water which you can drink it it's pure comes down from the sky who sends this water if you reason the answer is clear and we are talking about that one that powerful one who sends the water from the sky Musa salam talking about important ingredient important things on this place on this world and everyone who lives in this world knows them very well and knows how they are inevitable in our life how they are absolutely important in our life Musa salam talking about them and asking who made them I'm talking about that one who made them if there is anyone who claims that he did made the day and the night and this planet and opened way on the surface of this planet and sending water from the sky then let come let him come forth and let him speak and say I am the one who made them so there is no one among us we are all creatures created by the one who created everything so the answer of Musa salam to Fir'aun is very very clear and it's a reality وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً at this point Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turns the statement for himself and speaks by himself Allah says فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْ نَبَاتٍ شَدَّةٍ maybe Musa السلام, said his statement till this point he said الَّذِي جَعَلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضَ مَهْدًا I'm talking about the one who made the earth for you as a cradle وَسَلَكَ لَكُمْ فِيهَا سُبُلًا and opened roots for you therein وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً and has sent down water from the sky Musa السلام, this is the end of the statement of Musa السلام. at this point Allah says before ending the ayah فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا and we have brought forth فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ with it with that rain with that water فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْ نَبَاتٍ شَدَّةٍ various kinds of vegetation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completed the statement of Musa السلام that rain yes we sent we have we have sent that rain down from the sky but after sending it down we have we have brought forth with it various kinds of vegetation referring to the species of plants some are sour, some are sweet, some are bitter and there are other kinds as well Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions his creation after sending the water and that the water comes to the surface of the earth and it's, it, it do not stop there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala creates with it many vegetables, many fruits palatable fruits for us so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that this is a system and I am the one who creates it it's not just the water comes down from the sky and after it I am doing many things for you creating many things for you 
فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْ نَبَاتٍ شتى. If someone asks you why in this ayah Allah at the beginning talks about himself that he is the one who has made the earth as a cradle for you and open ways for you and, and has sent down water from the sky then says فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ and we have why talk it's clear in the ayah and you see the difference you understand it then Musa this is the end of the word of Musa then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completes the statement by himself فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْ نَبَاتٍ then after sending the water أَخْرَجْنَا we have brought forth بِهِ with it أَزْوَاجًا various kinds of vegetation مِنْ نَبَاتٍ and look at the ayah 54 you will understand that now Allah is speaking He says Eat them So Musa السلام, The statement of Musa السلام, has already ended in the ayah number 53 The end of the ayah number 53 is the statement of Allah He speaks about Himself before that he was narrating from Musa السلام, he was relating from Musa السلام, now he is talking by himself فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْ نَبَاتٍ شَتَّى indeed we have brought forth with it various kinds various kinds of vegetation مِنْ نَبَاتٍ شَتَّى and you are eating them you are eating them every morning every afternoon and every evening you are consuming the fruits of Allah the vegetation of Allah many different tastes different kinds created by Allah you are eating them Kulu Allah says eat them these are for you Kulu not yourself and you can pasture your cattle Kulu warau anamakum and pasture your cattle let them eat also Kulu warau anamakum this is for you these are for you so look at this system look where you live and see the mercy of Allah over you and see his compassion over you and how he guides you how he provides and sustains for you if you neglect all these realities which are very important in your life you cannot live without them you cannot live without the rain you cannot live without this planet without the dust and without the fruits which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings forth you cannot live without them how can you deny them how can you abstain from asking that question who made them for you? Musa السلام, and Allah mentioning these blessings, these favors, these important things in our life in order to make us understand that Allah is the one who created them for us. Or name Him how you desire, how you love say the most merciful one who created everything or say the creator or say 
the powerful one who has all the power name him how you will how you will how you desire but do not neglect him do not overlook his power and his favor upon you and give thanks to him be grateful to him Kulu eat warau anamakum. Now we move to the ayah number 54. Allah says, Kulu eat warau and pasture your cattle. Kulu warau anamakum. Look at the end of the ayah number 54. Inna fi ayatin li nuha. Verily, in this or in these. La ayatin. There are ayat, not single ayah. Ayah means proof, sign, evidence. Ayat means proof, signs, evidences. Allah says, Inna fi dhalik, in this or in these, there are many ayat, not just a single ayah, not just a single evidence, many evidences. But for whom? Li'ulinnuha. For those who use their mind, who are open-minded, who are looking for the truth, who are ready to accept the truth as soon as he understands it. Ulinnuha. It means that who possess a correct an upright, intelligent, and use them. If someone do not have that intelligent, and he is mad, he is out of this life. As if Allah didn't create him. He is not responsible for anything, because he is a mad man. He do not realize the truth. He cannot compare the beautiful from the wrong, the truth from the false. We are not talking about them. We are talking about those who have a mind. And everyone in this life has a mind. We are not talking about the mad. So, but ulun ulun nuha, ulun nuha, they are different. They are those who use that mind who reason when they reason when they use their mind when they use their intelligence Allah opens them the truth widely Allah puts before you a simple truth for example 2 and 2 is 4 Allah puts it before the human being and makes him understand it manifestly then asks him what is this if he says yes this is true I understood it then Allah puts before him another truth but if he stays at that point and rejects to acknowledge the truth, that simple truth, then Allah makes him stay there for a while, not unlimited, for a while. He refused to acknowledge that truth, that two and two is four. And Allah, after a while, closed his understanding because he refused to use it. Allah closed his mind because he refused to use it in correct way. Although he was convinced thereof, he didn't acknowledge. So, uli ulun nuha, when they acknowledge the truth, Allah gives them more, more evidence, more ayat. And then they understand and realize and acknowledge 
righteous people, then Allah gives them more. In furqana. If you observe your duty to Allah, if you use your faculties in a correct way, then Allah will increase your understanding. Whoever acknowledge the oneness of his create of the Creator, believing in Him, and it is the most manifest reality in this life, then Allah says, Yahdi Qalbahu, Allah will guide him, will lead him to the truth. This is the first step the most simple truth the most clear truth in this life that there should be a creator for this life so if the man insists not to accept that truth and not to use his mind and stay there then after a while Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes that faculties back from him. Khatam Allahu ala qulubihim wa ala. You see in ayat Quran, Allah says, Allah had sealed, put seal upon their hearts and their eyes. Khatam Allahu ala qulubihim wa ala samahim wa ala absarihim wa shah. Why? Because they denied their eyes their ears they rejected to use their heart their mind Allah warned them for a while warned them to use them but they refused and after a while a limited time equally given for every human being then Allah took them back take, uh, took them back but we are talking now about the people who are righteous and who are truthful when they understand something, when Allah makes them understand something they openly acknowledge it and try to understand, try to realize it and Allah increase their mind so they are ulun nuha and there are ayat, evidences, signs in these Allah says there are many ayat but for those who are ulun nuha who will try to understand them who will make his research to see the wisdom behind all these favors of Allah and how Allah rules them, how Allah creates them, then he will understand that there is a very, very powerful hand, and it is the hand of the Almighty, which is inevitable behind all these creation. Inna fi dhalika la ayatin li nuha. So, you see that Allah Himself talking here, not Musa salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala involved here in the speech, entered here, completed the statement of Musa salam, and now He is continuing to speak to us. As if He is explaining and completing the statement of Musa salam. Now let's move on to the ayah number 55. Allah says, Minha khalaqnakum. Thereof we have created you. Referring to the earth. Minha khalaqnakum. For, for Allah created Adam alayhi salam from dirt, from dust, from the surface of this planet. So we belong to this earth. 
Allah says, Minha khalaqnakum, thereof we have created you. Wa fiha naidukum, and into it we shall return you. Wa fiha naidukum. Wa minha nukhrijukum, and from it we shall bring you out. Taratan ukhra, once again. So he created us from this earth and he will return us into it and he will bring us out once again وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى So the earth, this planet is very important for us and it, it shows you that the life of the human being should be around this planet because he created from this earth he was created from this earth and Allah says he will return to it and he says that he will bring them out from this earth so the existence of uh, the earth is very important for the life of the human being Allah says وَالْأَرْضَ وَضَعَهَا لِلْأَنَامِ and the earth this planet created for the for anam meaning those who has life like us human being and the animals and many animals whether they are small or great they are all created on this planet I think not sure but I think this is the unique place uh, where you can find uh, living life because Allah says Allah created this planet for life and this, uh, the most important one among uh, these creatures is the human being himself children of Adam Allah created the earth this planet for them especially where, Allah, where Musa salam said الذي جعل لكم الأرض مهدن. He is the one who made the earth for you. So we are created from earth. Look at yourself. You will understand that our nature and uh, we are uh, created by uh, the dust of this earth. منها خلقناكم وفيها نعيدكم In the beginning Allah said Minha khalaqnakum We have created you from this dust So, but when he says وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ And into it we are returning you So just right now he is He do return, he do cause for some people to return to the earth Meaning he caused them to death وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ He didn't say مِنْهَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ We have created you وَفِيهَا أَعَدْنَاكُمْ And into it we did return you No, he says And into it we return you وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ And the same phrase here And from it نُخْرِجُكُمْ We are bringing you out وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى Once again تَارَةً أُخْرَى means it will happen in the future as it was happened in the past أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا واخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته